How's everybody doing? Today I'll be showing you my Criterion Collection. I love the Criterion Collection. They're like classic leather-bound books. They often feature special features and commentary that are exclusive to the Criterion Collection. Their releases show true dedication and passion for film. They have such amazing releases. I don't have as many as Mr. Joel 450 or Cinemaniac 77, but I have a few and I figured I'd show you. I have around 60 right now, but there are four missing that I know I have in my collection. I can't seem to find them. I know when I lived in my fraternity house, I had a bunch of movies that were stolen, and also I lost a few during a couple moves, so I'm thinking that might have been one of those two cases. I know I had Seven Samurai original Criterion release, I had uh, Time Bandits, I had Spartacus, and I had Do the Right Thing, Spike Lee. So I can't find those ones, but I used to have them. I don't know what's going on there. And I actually just ordered the new Seven Samurai on Blu-ray through Amazon, so I'm just waiting for that to come, but I figured I couldn't wait. I'll just show you what I have right now. So let me know if you guys have any Criterion Collection releases and what your favorite Criterion Collection release is. So now let's check out my collection. And here we go. Here's part of my collection right here. And here's the top shelf right here. I don't think I've ever shown this one right here. Tom Savini autographed Dawn of the Dead Blu-ray. But here we go. Here's my Criterion Collection. It's in no specific order just because I don't have the room to really organize it like I would like to. So I'm just going to show you them as I go. And first up on the top shelf right here, I have the Great Adaptation set. And I'll show that to you real quick. It includes Oliver Twist, Lord of the Flies, The Most Dangerous Game, and Great Expectations. And next up I have Wings of Desire. Chasing Amy by Kevin Smith. And I think if any Kevin Smith movie was going to be on Criterion Collection, it should be Clerks. And next up is Science and Fiction, 23 films by Jean Panlave. And next is Bicycle Thieves, really nice set. It includes Book. Next up is Breathless by Godard, very nice set as well. Kicking and Screaming. Night in Fog. The Red Balloon. Now this is actually by Janus Films. I figured I'd put it in here anyways because it's by the same parent company. Eyes Without a Face. Ang Lee's The Ice Storm. Absolutely love this movie. Cronenberg's Videodrome. And this is an awesome set as well. I'll show you real quick. The case comes in this Betamax design. Looks like a Betamax. Long Live the New Flesh. Very cool. Love that design. And next up is The Double Life of Veronique. Comes with the book as well. For some reason the DVDs are coming with the novel or a big book, but the Blu-ray counterparts are not. I think the Blu-ray counterparts should have the book as well. I don't know why the Blu-ray counterparts aren't having the book. Clean Shaven. The Rock. There's some films that I just wonder why Criterion releases them. I just want to know the criteria for movies to get a Criterion release. I just Some of them just kind of baffle me. Like I'm really surprised by this and, and this one as well, Armageddon. Next up is Fishing with John. It's a great concept, but it didn't really carry over with this one. I was expecting a little bit more. I would have been nice to hear a lot of the stories and things like that. Was Anderson's The Royal Tannenbaums. It's a very nice set as well. Silence of the Lambs. Now I kept this edition because it has some special features that only this edition has. Exclusive to Criterion. Robocop. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Pretty nice set as well. Mona Lisa. Carnival of Souls. Rushmore. Shortcuts. Great cast. And again, this comes with the book. And then this beauty right here, Terry Gilliam's Brazil, three disc set. Very nice. It comes with Terry Gilliam's 142 minute final cut. It also has the 94 minute cut, which includes all the changes that Terry Gilliam refused to make. From the alternate opening to the controversial happy ending. This is the Love Conquers All version. 
And then just a ton of special features on that set. Great set. And then next up is Vampire. It's a really nice thick edition. Look at that. It's a monster. Very gothic and uh, it's not quite silent, but there's very little dialogue in the film. It's very eerie and surreal. And the next few are going to be the Blu-rays that I have of a Criterion Collection. There's not too many, but there's a few. Next up, Night of the Hunter. Very nice addition as well. Great movie. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I do wish I had better lighting over here, but this will have to do. Chungking Express. The Sweet Smell of Success. Burt Lancaster and Tony Curtis. Love this movie. House. Oh, fantastic eerie imagery right there. Charlotte Chaplin's Modern Times. Malick's Days of Heaven. Laws Van Trier's Antichrist. He's kind of in the news right now with uh, some comments he made. Crum. The Darjeeling Limited. Next up is Ang Lee's Ride with the Devil. Great cast. I absolutely love this movie. I highly recommend this movie if you're into war movies. This is an excellent addition to the Civil War genre. And that concludes my Blu-ray Criterion Collection right there. The Last Days of Disco. Naked Lunch. Man Bites Dog. This is actually one of my favorite Criterion releases right here. Love this movie. One of the darkest black comedies I've seen. Sid and Nancy. This is out of print. It goes for a decent amount. And Gary Oldman's performance in it was just amazing. Slacker. This is a nice set as well. Pretty thick. Comes with a book. White Dog. Racist dogs out there. Downhill Racer. I enjoy this film, but I felt the editing could have been better in it. Hoop Dreams, one of the best sports movies ever made. Fantastic movie. Secret Honor, filmed by Robert Altman. Love this movie. Oh, just an epic performance. The lead actor just blew me away in this. Phil Baker Hall was just oh, incredible. He got so into it. There was even a scene where he was just going so crazy and fervent that he spit and it was like a loogie. And you see this nasty little like white piece that came from his mouth that he spit out. And I'm glad they didn't edit it out because it just felt more raw and real. But I love this movie. This movie always makes me want to drink. It gets me all hyped up. Knife in the water. Some Polanski right there. Mama Roma. This film was actually banned in Italy for a long time. Patriotism right here. Very nice set as well. And definitely watch the Japanese version of this. Don't watch the English dubbed version. You're not going to get everything in there. Not all the information is on there. There's a couple scenes where if you watch uh, with English subtitles on it, you'll see a little bit more in there. So definitely watch the Japanese version of that one. The Night Porter. Diabolique. General Idi Amin Dada. Man, the people who did this just had some balls to do this, to ask the questions that they asked. Whew. Equinox. Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Beastie Boys Video Anthology. My Own Private Idaho. Very nice set as well. And Tanner 88. So that concludes my current Criterion collection. Not too many, I think about 60 or so. And I did have four other ones like I said before. But uh, hopefully coming up I'll be adding some more to my collection. I know Barnes & Noble is having a half off sale on their Criterions uh, starting next month. So I definitely plan to pick up at least 10 more. But let me know what you guys think of my Criterion collection and let me know if you have any recommendations or must-owns for Criterion that I should check out. So that concludes my Criterion collection. Let me know what you guys think of my Criterion collection and let me know if you have any recommendations or must-owns for the Criterion collection that I should add to my collection. Leave me some recommendations down below. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.